<laughs> oh, poor Asbald doesn't even have a damn clue. The man's oblivious to love. trouble. The party will have to wait for now. Huh? Where the hell did she get the confetti? Uh oh, she's not liking that power. My little tank, come here, come to mother. Hmm. All right, I like Sharia, but I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna put Pascal in for the hell of it. Can't be screwing around this time. Go. All right, let me. Alright, the camera's just a little too zoomed in. Why they gotta be four, huh? Why they gotta be four? Oh, stay in here, stay in the circle, come in the circle. Come in the circle, yes! Oh, Pascal, what the fuck? Estimated the woman. I want to try to see if I can play with Pascal. I just need to have healers in the party. I wish I could ask the person why instead of broadside walls. He said instant balls. Probably he couldn't say broadside walls pretty fast. Uh, also, I'm just hearing it way differently than what he's saying it. He's gonna out of freak first while they are. Can't do crap, huh? <laughs> Can I just go fuck up the one that's next to me, huh? Somebody's being fucked up. Yeah, right, Sophie? Did she die? Uh, 
That's the last of them. I'm disappointed to find them here as well. Have you guys fought those things before? We face similar monsters in Windor. If it wasn't for Lambda's power, we'd almost certainly have perished. So Lambda's awake now? Yeah, it appears that way. Well, he seems useful enough, so I guess it's okay. I mean, he worked really well against those guys. We're trying to learn why the monsters have grown so aggressive recently. Is there anything you can tell us? No, I'm not really a biologist or whatever. You should talk to Fourier. Where is she now? Well, she usually locks herself in her lab, but right now I think she's at the Amarcian Enclave. We should head back there. I want to talk to you guys about some stuff anyway. Oh. All right, let's head there. Sophie feels useless now. What is hmm. Lambda doing to Asbel? She don't like it one bit. Sophie, are you okay? It's not going to be like last time. I promise we won't have to fight. Don't worry, Sophie. Are you sure? Here we go. Asbel will be all right, Sophie. I know it. Richard. Things are different. It won't be like when I merged with Lambda. Asbel has what it takes to confront Lambda directly, without facing any repercussions. His will is strong enough to keep things in check. That's why I know he'll be okay. I wanted you to know as much. Thank you, Richard. And I wanted to say, I'm sorry. For what? For what happened six months ago. I thought I should apologize. No. I am the one who needs to apologize. It was all my fault. And I'm sorry. So... are we back to being friends? Yes. Then I'll be your friend too. You too? Sophie, this man is dangerous. Let's move away from him. Wait, the captain is dangerous? Oh yes, he's a... <laughs> I see your majesty <laughs> still has a biting sense of you. <laughs> oh man. He's a sexual deviant. All right, back to the Amarcian on Yay. Scene? Nope. Hello. Where's Ferrier? She should be in her room. Oh my god, she's not here. I need to find the overseer's name. Totally forgot about that. Is it Poisson or Pascal? Alright, let's see if she's with the Overseer. when I thought it was safe to relax. It looks like you brought the whole gang with you. Listen, Fourier, we need your help. Oh?
when monsters change, it's usually due to a mutation triggered by their environment. Sorry, but could you explain? All creatures have the ability to adapt to changing conditions. It's what allows the species to thrive. For example, uh -huh. if animals from a warm climate are transported to a colder one, many of them will perish. However, the strong ones will adapt and evolve in order to survive. So is that what's happening here? Yes. I would assume the monsters are evolving to better meet the threat posed by humans. So you think we're helping to make the monsters stronger? That's what I just said, isn't it? Of course, it's just a hypothesis. Hmm. <laughs> but doesn't it usually take forever for things to evolve? Normally, yes. Evolution is a slow process that takes several generations to unfold. But we have numerous examples of sudden mutations in monsters, especially those that live near the Valcanus. In other words, outside interference greatly increases the odds of rapid mutation. I would theorize that an unknown being is affecting them, perhaps something similar to Lambda or Lestalia. Do you think Lambda himself might be responsible? Uh oh Absolutely not. You seem quite sure. There he goes speaking to himself again. This boy's crazy. Notice he's an orange ball. So certain. Do you doubt my powers? It's not that. I made a decision to exist together with you, so of course I'm going to trust you. Did you say trust? You lent me your power. Because you were trying to help. Isn't that right? Even if true, I would do so only because you are my host vessel. He likes to talk like he don't care. <laughs> you care! Though I exist inside you, do not be so arrogant as to think you can control me. I'm not trying to control you. You helped us back there. You saved our lives. I haven't thanked you yet, so thanks. This is quiet. He's like, hmm. What well, most people say when they've been put in their place. <laughs> he doesn't know how to handle it. He's like, wait a minute, this child is thanking me. What the hell's going on? I don't know if Lambda influenced the mutations, but I didn't sense his power in those monsters. If that's the case, then I think the problem might be up there. In the ceiling? What are you talking about? In Fodra? I wanted to talk to you because Fodra's been acting kind of wonky. I didn't even notice until Poisson and the Overseer brought it up. But ever since, me and all the other Amarsians have been studying it. About two months ago, we found Elith gushing from a point on the surface. Therefore, Fodra's supposedly non-functional core is showing signs of activity. If Fodra's core is in fact the source of all life, then... Yes, it's conceivable that the core might be promoting evolution in the monsters. Is my sister the best or what? 
<laughs> okay, guys, I gotta take the shuttle and zip off to Fodra. Do you really think you'll learn something new up there? Well, I'm sure not learning anything standing around here. In that case, we'll go with you. Oh, hey, wait. Is Stratus Valkanus still okay? Because, you know, all these crazy monsters are appearing near Valkanus. At the very least, he doesn't the want to go back to Strata. To know, but that means a side trip to Strata. I'll go. But I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Something wrong? When are you going to marry my daughter? D no, it's nothing. How about we go <laughs> with you? It'll be a lot easier than going alone. All right. But please try not to cause any trouble. Hmm. Sophie knows. Oh, my controller turned off. Aw, you look down, little bro. What's wrong? Who, me? No, nothing's wrong. Leave me alone. Jeez, fine. Sorry. No need to be so cold. Gosh. You are being mean to Pascal, Hubert. No, I'm... Wait, am I? But that's how I've always acted. You never look her in the eyes. Hmm? Sophie? You are very perceptive. It's just... Looking at her like that is... Difficult. It's hard for me to explain. I don't think I can meet her gaze at this particular moment. Do you have a guilty conscience? Huh? You've been talking to the captain, haven't you? When a man has a guilty <laughs> conscience, he can't look a woman in the eye, right? Hmm... Perhaps not. Not that I feel particularly guilty about anything, mind you. I hate to admit it, but sometimes even I don't understand what's wrong with me. It's okay. Cheer up, Hubert. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, where do we need to go? Exit the Overseer's Chamber. Tell me her name. Tell me her name. What is your name, old woman? Darn it. I'm never gonna get <laughs> that open unless I look online. Pascal, I... I want to be human. But you're already plenty human. Your body's just a little different is all. No, it's more than that. I'm not like you at all. Asbel, Sharia, Hubert, Richard, Pascal, Captain Malik, you're all going to die someday. But, not me. If I were a human, you couldn't leave me behind when you died. Help me, Asbel. How do I become human? Well... I cheat steal? Um... I see. It's impossible, isn't it? I'm 
not even capable of tears. No matter how sad I get, I can't even cry like you. I just... I just want to be the same as you. I wish that Asbel was my father, and Sharia was my mother. I wish I'd been born human, with you as my family. Sophie! Asbel, I'm... I'm not sure it's a good idea to bring her with us. It's okay. I'll stay behind, here, with Sophie. I just don't think she should travel until she's feeling a little better. I'll stay here, too. I'm totally good at cheering people up. And you, Asbel? It might help to come along and clear your head for a bit. All right. I'll go to Strata. Well, it looks like it's just the men this time. Sharia, take care of Sophie, okay? Damn, I lost all my healers. <laughs> well, Hubert's there. He's... He's a healer, which is pretty good. No emotional women on this rat. Wait, where do we need to go? Go to you, Liberty. Yes. What they forget that um, they wanted her to live, but what they forgot was that they were gonna die one day and she was gonna be left alone a city of water and sun such beauty is the pride of every Stratton citizen as it should be no matter how often I come here I can't help but gasp at its splendor it's like a jewel box has been upended on the sand a jewel box anyway Barona is nothing to sneeze at either <laughs> ah indeed the ancient castles and historic neighborhoods are as pieces of a shimmering jewel box that conveys our rich history. Another jewel box? Zavhurt may be lacking in traditional beauty, but neither city can match its sheer majesty. Perhaps it is so. Zavhurt is built from hard labor and workmanlike skill. A veritable jewel box boasting the artistry and craftsmanship of her designers. <laughs> Enough with the jewel box! Asbel? Uh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> He's like Prince Richard, you're showing your colors. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Three jewel boxes at once. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Such a splendid jewel box. It's been half a year since I visited Strata. There was a lot going on back then. But this time, I'll make sure to visit your family and introduce myself. As your brother. You don't need to do that. Sure I do. Is everyone doing well? Oh, the same as always, I suppose. My father is a bit meeker from all his political struggles, and Raymond is off traveling the world. Oh, so is Raymond doing the same sorts of things that you are? I wouldn't say that, but he's actually... well, he's following Sharia. Following Sharia? What do you mean? Well, I suppose it's a little more complicated than that. Probably. He raises money to support Sharia's relief organization, and sometimes he visits their operations sites as an inspector. I can't believe uh -huh. that! Uh-huh. He's a... he's a... he's a great guy to care so much! Asbel, you don't? I'm just going to let this go. <laughs> He's your competition, fool.
This is starting to get out of hand. Is that what the hell? I couldn't. What do, do you mean, Captain? Her. I didn't know what to say. Few people would. It's a difficult problem with no one simple solution. Right now, you need to attend to business. You can make time for Sophie later. You're right. Of course. So, Hubert, will we see the president soon? Hubert. <laughs> He's lost in thought. Oh, the what? Uh, yes, of course. Worried about the president's daughter, are you? Captain. Wait, what? It's nothing. It's just a little <laughs> marriage proposal. I never thought I'd hear the words Hubert and marriage in the same conversation. You're one to talk. Mother had plenty to say about you and her letters, you know. Don't you two have anything better to do than discuss my personal life? Don't look at me. Your marriage is all she can think about anymore. It is a sign of great trust for the president to offer you his daughter's hand. I know, and that's what makes it so awkward. If you hadn't sent that request for aid, I don't know what I'd be doing now. If you're this worried, Hubert, maybe we shouldn't go on. I'm not worried, it's just... I don't know how to approach the president, because I have no intention of accepting the proposal. The president is reasonable. If you speak with him, man to man, I'm sure he'll understand. Well, he'll have your balls cut off. If you don't marry my daughter, then you don't need these! So, how is your foster father doing these days, Hubert? Well, he spent quite a bit of time moping around the house. Was he sick? No. It's from when the president discovered his plan to take over Lant. You can imagine the repercussions he had to face as a direct result. I won't lie, those were tough times. But now my father and the president seem to be getting along far better than they were before. So, all the talk about you marrying the president's daughter stems from that? Hmm. Yes, that may be the case. Regardless, treasure the time you have left with your father. You don't know how long his health will hold, and I'm sure he still has things to teach you. There isn't much I care to hear from that particular father. The more I see of men like you, the less I want a son of my own. Does that mean you want a daughter, Captain Malik? Well, I suppose I wouldn't <laughs> mind an adorable little girl. Adorable, sure. Until she grows up and calls you a pig, and tells you to stay out of her life forever. Hubert, does it bring you joy to crush my dreams? Oh, please, Captain. I'm only being realistic. Whether he's right or not, I do have things to report. I suppose a quick family visit wouldn't hurt? Oh, my goodness. Alright. Let's check the residential area. That's crazy. Oh my god. He's talking about his personal life. The Oz Wales. Hello, father. Welcome back, Hubert. How are things progressing? We have obstacles, but none that cannot be overcome. Good, good. But now, we have another matter to discuss. I'm currently in talks to re-establish myself as a player in Strata's political machine. The President and I had our differences, yes, but that's all behind us now. I am counting on you, Hubert. Do not fail me. Oh, he will. He's talking about marriage, isn't he? I fear he will be disappointed. I have no interest in marrying the president's daughter. 
then you'd best refuse him quickly. I don't get it, Hubert. Why are you so against the idea? He still I'm don't sure get it. Oh my god. Reason. In situations such as these, you must be both clear and firm. To do anything else would invite disaster. I am aware of that, Captain. It's just... I understand. It must be hard to have a true love who is so... Well, you know. True love? <laughs> Dirty. What are you talking about? Oh, come Stinky. now. There's no point in denying it. We all know, after all. What? I'm really confused right now. Don't worry about it. Yep, this, only though. you, buddy. But if you want to refuse the president, you're going to need a good reason. Hubert is still young. Perhaps he can claim he's not ready for the responsibility of a family. Yes, but married life changes reality for everyone. I don't see why that would be any different for me. What if you said you didn't want to marry until your military position was more secure? I'm already a lieutenant. Bah, titles are meaningless. If I wished it, I could have <laughs> thousands of troops at my command. All right, fine. Then tell him ladies at every port of call have fallen for your good looks. That's a terrible idea. I want to avoid a marriage, not lose the respect of the people. I'm starting to think you don't want to avoid this marriage at all. Well, not with these awful ideas, I don't. Hey, he's ladies, man. Oh, this is madness. Just tell him you're in love with someone else already. And if people ask who it is? Then tell them her name. Oh, yes, a splendid Pascal! Idea. And who would honestly believe I carried a torch for her? I think you just admitted it. Now see here! Holy crap! I think your brother has finally figured it out. What do you think, Asbel? Hubert's in love with... Enough! We are done talking about this! Now then... I have no plans to marry the President's daughter. If she'd even have you. After all, I have little interest in the political ambitions of my father. If I am to support this country in the future, I must maintain my connection to the common people. Just as... Just as I know she will. Huh. You admitted it, son! Good on you, man. Whoops. Not that house. Alright, let me go in as... as Hubert. <laughs> I'm stupid. Mr. President! Mr. President. Yes. Hubert. What is Lord a boy? Asbel. My goodness, King Richard. What's going on? Did something happen? We've received word that the Valconis is under attack. Damn! I didn't think the monsters would get here so quickly. Do you know something? We can explain everything later. Right now, we need your permission to attack these creatures. King Richard, I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Please, I insist. My kingdom owes a great debt to the courage of Strata. I would do anything in my power to help you. Additionally, sir, I fear our soldiers sure. will be no match for these monsters. However, we have recently acquired the power to combat them. Very well. If things are as you say, I will leave these beasts in your capable hands. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. We won't disappoint you. All right, where the hell do we go? Strata Desert Ruins. I think this video is like 30, 35, 36 minutes. I love you, airship! Oh, crap. Oh, he's drowning. Oh, that's Keep cool. Going. Come on. We're coming. Hand. You weak. Stand strong. Sons of bitches. Cackling golem. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Hold it right there. Slow him down. Fall. Fall. I'm gonna have to play healer because. Back up. Bad at all. Wielder of Light. Thank you, Lieutenant. You weak fools. Assemble the remaining soldiers and hold this point at all costs. Yes, sir. At all costs? You mean we're gonna lose more people? We need to do something about the monsters in these ruins as expediently as possible. Doing so will earn you further accolades and raise your stock. Soon the president will beg to have you as his son-in-law. Please, that's enough. It is not the sort of decision one should be coerced into making. He's right. But it's a truth of marriage. The higher you rise, the less your own opinions matter. You too, Richard? Oh, yes. An endless stream of Windor nobility keeps pestering me about their eligible daughters. I envy your array of options, Your Majesty. Do you now? I've heard talk that you have a beautiful girl waiting at every port in the land. Yeah, it's rough. Girls keep telling themselves and everyone else that they're my lover. Interesting. <laughs> Might you have done something to give them that impression? Not that I can remember. Come on, guys. This is crazy. I don't want to select a wife like I'm shopping from a catalog. Oh, crap. Apparently, that's what it seems like you have to do. Alright. I like this. Most likely. Alright. Now where the hell do we go? Come again. 
Let's keep going. Where? Oh, we gotta reach the Valkanis, right? Oh my god, not this again. Oh, these guys are stronger. There we go. Oh crap, it was down here. Keep your guard. I of a city. that your skills are quite impressive. Oh, I want to grab that. What the fuck? Go around. Yeah! Crap. Remember your training. Okay, move down! I want to beat on tree stuff here. It's over. Rip to pieces. Stampede. He doesn't like the ARs. Okay. Oh, you don't like the BRs. Thank you. I must catalog every treasure in the world. Classified seed. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I just. How can I forget? Hello there. Excuse me. Should have gone that way, but I won't. Crap. Oh! No! Leave me alone. Let's do this! Let's There we go. Easy peasy. Get on my way. Don't follow me. Oh nice. This is where I got the torch flame I see. Oh shit. Ah, where's Sophie? Now I'm inclined to go back. I'm inclined to go back and see what's over there. Oh shit, did I kill it that fast? Right, that's how the man do it. I must catalog every treasure. Nothing in the but world. ass.
All right, now I'm inclined to go back and check what that freaking treasure chest is. Excuse me, sir. Crap. Excuse me. Oh, you fast, huh? I got some gauntlets for um Sophie. Excuse me. I bet you I get something that I have to put back. Oh ho ho, magic card out. Stay sharp, even against chumps. This is trouble. <laughs> See, I would have missed a card. Thank you, Captain. Alright, this will give me time to do this. I knew it. Gotta check them chests. There we go! Huzzah! Here we are! Undine's cloak. Hmm. I'm gonna have to decide on that later. Loose lips. I'm sensing something strange. The monsters we seek may be nearby. And with this, your stock will rise. The president will beg to have you as his son-in-law, and again with this, your <laughs> lips are much too loose, Captain. What sort of soldier openly discusses his comrade's personal affairs? Well, usually my lips are sealed, but when it's information we all share already, <laughs> that's a different story. My affairs are not common gossip. Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure the captain spilled one of my secrets once. Whatever are we to do with you, Malik? We shall have to find a punishment that fits your crime. Perhaps I should read aloud the contents of a certain love letter you wrote 20 years ago. I don't know where you got that, but if you read it, I'll be forced to share humiliating stories from His Majesty's childhood. You would threaten your king? There's little difference between king and subject in a place like this. Yes, well, let's put that aside and make for... Hey, stop! Listen to me! <laughs> oh man, they're about to kick each other's ass. <laughs> Alright, let me save. 